Welcome to my impossible screw. This is a screw that can only be turned clockwise. When I turn it clockwise, it's running freely. When I run it counterclockwise, it's locked. When I turn it around, it also only runs clockwise and is locked counterclockwise. But clockwise in this direction is counterclockwise in this direction. How can this be? When I hold the screw at the head, I can turn the nut clockwise, but not counterclockwise. I can, can only turn it towards the head. When I hold it on the other side, I can only turn it clockwise, and it moves away from the head, and it locks in this direction. When I hold it on both ends, I can turn it in both directions. What kind of witchcraft is there going on? Well, the trick is, it's not a single nut, a single screw, it's a split screw. Here's how you can make it yourself. Let this be the screw. First saw it into two pieces. Then cut or mill or grind away half of the diameter. Like so. Like so. Do the same with the other side. So, if you would put it into a nut, it would work almost like a normal screw. Now the trick. Take one side and rotate it by 45 degrees to the right and then cut away a wedge, almost to the center, but not to the center, like so. That's it. Here's how it works. When you turn it right, this side or surface will drive that surface. And it will work perfectly as a thread. When you turn it in the other direction, it will pivot around this point and expand here and clamp its side itself into the thread. That's all. Here are the, the dimensions that worked for an M5 thread. I figured it out, I didn't calculate it. If you're a mechanical engineer or otherwise clever, please calculate the dimensions for the optimum clamping effect and add a note in the comments.